Hashtag That Jackson Kid by The German Grim Reaper Read by My Lost and Found Summary Following an episode on BuzzFeed Unsolved, several Twitter users do their best to uncover the truth about Percy Jackson. They get surprisingly far. Just so you guys know, if you don't, this is like a part two. You can probably listen to this without having listened to the first part, but I did podfic that. It's on my channel. It's called The Odd Abduction of Percy Jackson. It's got the BuzzFeed Unsolved logo in the thumbnail. But yeah, let's continue on to the podfic. Nance, at Sky's the Limit. Okay, so I just got done with this week's episode of Hashtag BuzzFeed Unsolved, and holy shit, guys! Skittles, at RBFF, responding to at Sky's the Limit. It's so good, right? Not really spooky, but still super fucked up. Nance, at Sky's the Limit. I always wondered what happened to that scrawny asshole. Skittles, at RBFF. Wait, what? Nance, at Sky's the Limit. I can't believe I was mentioned on hashtag BuzzFeed Unsolved. Mystery Enthusiast, at Virgo Bitch. What? Skittles, at RBFF. Explain? Nance, at Sky's the Limit. Yeah, so... You know how they mentioned him pushing a kid into a fountain? Nance at Sky's the Limit. That was me. Nance at Sky's the Limit. Fountain girl. Fuck Donald Trump. At Mary Slytherin. Huh, you gotta make that your new name now. Skittles at RBFF. Tell. Me. Everything. Nance. Fountain girl. At Sky's the Limit. Done. Nance, fountain girl at Sky's the Limit. Not sure how much there is to say. Mystery enthusiast at Virgo Bitch. You think he's in a cult? Like they said on the show? Nance, fountain girl at Sky's the Limit. Not when I knew him. Nance, fountain girl at Sky's the Limit. He was just some kid. Kinda snarky. I was a bit of a bitch to him. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Well, he did push you into a fountain. Nance, fountain girl at Sky's the Limit. Well, I kind of deserve that. Nance, fountain girl at Sky's the Limit. But I stand by what I said back then. Percy didn't push me. The water fucking grabbed me from behind. Mystery enthusiast at Virgo Bitch. Huh? Nance, fountain girl at Sky's the Limit. He didn't push me. I didn't trip. I swear to God, I remember the water grabbing me and pulling me in. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. I blamed him for it at the time, but I think the water moving on its own is just as likely as a 12-year-old being able to control it, to be honest. Skittles at RBFF. Holy shit. Skittles at RBFF. Nance, did you just tell me the Jackson kid has fucking magic powers? Because I think you just told me the Jackson kid has fucking magic powers. Nance, fountain girl at Sky's the Limit. I mean, the water moved. I don't know if Percy did it or something else, but... Skittles at RBFF. Why the hell didn't they mention that on the show? Mystery Enthusiast at Virgo Bitch. She's making that up, dude. Skittles at RBFF. Nah, man, I trust Nance. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Thanks. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. I mean, I told the teachers, but I was 11, so I don't think they really paid attention. Probably never made it into any official records. The Hot One at Maddie Chase. We talking about Percy Jackson? Skittles, at RBFF. Yeah? The Hot One, at Maddie Chase. Boy, do I have shit to say about that guy. Nance, Fountain Girl, at Sky's the Limit. Oh, spill? The Hot One, at Maddie Chase. He stepped on my Legos. Skittles, at RBFF. (laughs) 
The Hot One at Maddie Chase. He did, though. The Hot One at Maddie Chase. He's dating my sister, and it's really funny. The Hot One at Maddie Chase. They're so in love, it's sickening. Nance, Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Dating? Present tense? At Maddie Chase, do you know where Percy Jackson is? The Hot One at Maddie Chase. Yeah, I just got done FaceTiming with them like an hour ago. Fuck Donald Trump, at Mary Slytherin. He's alive. The Hot One, at Maddie Chase. I feel like he'd be upset if I gave you too many details, but yes. The Hot One, at Maddie Chase. Can confirm that Percy Jackson is 100% alive and is a simp for my sister. Mystery Enthusiast, at Virgo Bitch. Why should we believe you? The Hot One at Maddie Chase. Let me get my brother to confirm at Bobby. The Hotter One at Bobby. Why are we talking about Annie's hot boyfriend? The Hotter One at Bobby. Oh, I see. Nance, Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Hot? Please tell me you're joking. The Hotter One at Bobby. Listen, I'm sorry, but I'm not blind. The dude is smoking. The Hot One, at Maddie Chase. Adding you was a mistake. Why must you talk this way about her future brother-in-law? The Hotter One, at Bobby. What, are you straight? The Hot One, at Maddie Chase. You take that back. Skittles, at RBFF. Harsh. Skittles, at RBFF. We require proof in the way of photos. The Hotter One, at Bobby. Nah. The Hotter One, at Bobby. Picture, like, the hottest surfer dude you've ever seen. And he's got a gray streak in his hair, but I think he dyes it. The Hot One, at Maddie Chase. Does he? I thought he went gray naturally after that thing on the mountain. The Hotter One, at Bobby. Maybe, but also, I feel like they wouldn't want us to talk about that. The Hot One, at Maddie Chase. Right, my job spreading chaos is done. Peace out. The Hotter One, at Bobby. Have fun stalking my sister's hot boyfriend. I'll tell him you said hi. Nance, Fountain Girl, at Sky's the Limit. Guys, hello? Nance, Fountain Girl, at Sky's the Limit. At Maddie Chase. At Bobby. Did you guys log off? Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Ugh. Skittles at RBFF. At least we still got you, Nance. Skittles at RBFF. We should make a tag. How about, a uh, hashtag that Jackson kid? Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Perfect. At me if you find out anything else. The Hashtag That Jackson Kid Mystery by Emmeline Tanaka, BuzzFeed contributor. Some of you may recognize the name Percy Jackson from the BuzzFeed Unsolved fame. For those of you who do not, let me recap the situation. In 2010, a 12 year old boy went missing, was accused of kidnapping his own mother, was allegedly involved in multiple violent explosions his mother's car, a bus, several police officer cars, and of course, the St. Louis Arch, before heroically battling against his kidnapper at gunpoint on the beaches of Santa Monica and returning home safe and sound. There were several discrepancies with the official story of events, which our very own Ryan Bagar and Shane Made pointed out in their show, and the internet has taken it upon themselves to investigate this mystery. Some users have claimed to have current information on Jackson's whereabouts, while others simply shared the tales of their interactions with him as a child. One user even claimed supernatural involvement. Thus far, we have not been able to verify these stories. We will keep you posted as as things develop. Skittles at RBFF Guys, guys, we got the hashtag JacksonKid as number 9 trending in the UK? What the fuck, you guys? I'm so proud. Skittles at RBFF at Sky's the Limit, are you seeing this? Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Wha? How the fuck did we even? 
Skittles, at our BFF. A lot of people watch the BuzzFeed Unsolved, I guess. Also, Twitter trending is bullshit. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Fair. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Y'all, I think I found a picture of him. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Where? I can probably tell you if it's him or not. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. This is gonna sound crazy, but it's on Rachel Elizabeth Dare's Instagram page. Skittles at RBFF. Why would Percy Jackson be on Rachel Elizabeth Dare's Insta? Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Wait, shit, that's actually him. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Photo of two people, both of them approximately college-aged. One is the skinny redhead with hair and a messy bun. She is recognizable as Rachel Elizabeth Dare, rich kid slash artist slash social activist. The other is a tall, muscular boy of mixed race. His hair is curly and black, with a distinct silver streak. He's holding the girl over the edge of a pool as though he's about to throw her in. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit Like, that's him. He's grown up since middle school, but that is definitely him. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. How the fuck does Percy Jackson know Rachel Elizabeth Dare? Skittles at RBFF. At Red Dare, please explain. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Dude, she's famous. She's not gonna answer you. Possum Protection Squad at Red Dare. Or will I? Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Fuck. Oh my god, guys, this is not a drill. Rachel Elizabeth Dare just responded to me. Possum Protection Squad at Red Dare. Winky face. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. I am fangirling so hard right now. How do you know Percy Jackson, though? Possum Protection Squad at Red Dare. I'll never tell. Skittles at RBFF. Official confirmation that Red does, in fact, no. Hashtag that Jackson kid. Possum Protection Squad at Red Dare. He's pretty chill when he's not throwing me into swimming pools, fully clothed. Also, can I just say, I think it's hilarious that people on Twitter are debating whether my best friend is in a cult. Skittles at RBFF. Is he, though? Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. I'm still stuck on how in the world the scrawny kid from fifth grade somehow ended up on national news and is apparently BFFs with Rachel Elizabeth Dare. Possum Protection Squad at Red Dare. I think they prefer the term commune. Possum Protection Squad at Red Dare. I'm just kidding though. It's not actually a cult. He's got a lot going on, but I don't think it would be fair to call it a cult. Possum Protection Squad at Red Dare. So I just showed Percy this thread? He didn't even know he was on hashtag BuzzFeed Unsolved until just now. Shaking my head, Percy. And the first thing he said was, Oh, peanut butter and ketchup girl? And I have questions. Skittles at RBFF. Nance? Nance, fountain girl at Sky's the Limit. I was 11. Didn't you eat weird things when you were 11? Ketchup is good. Nance, fountain girl at Sky's the Limit. Also, tell him sorry for me. He'll know what for. Possum Protection Squad at Red Dare. I'm actually allergic to tomatoes. Also, I'm gonna do actual work now, but keep theorizing. It'll be fun to see how much you all get right. Skittles at RBFF. Can't believe we had an actual conversation with Rachel Elizabeth Dare! Nance, Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Can't believe Rachel Elizabeth Dare just criticized my younger self's food choice. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Y'all, I've been scrolling back through her Insta to see when he started showing up, and he's in the background of a post from 2012. Skittles at RBFF. Eight years? Hashtag that Jackson kid has been friends with Red for eight years. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. We know Rachel is friends with that blonde girl, right? 
uh, what's her name? I don't think she's on Twitter, but she's at WiseGirl98 on Insta. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Yeah, she doesn't post a lot, but she's tagged in some of Rachel's posts. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Says in her bio that her name is Annabeth Chase. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. And didn't at Maddie Chase say last time his sister's name was Annie? Skittles at RBFF. You're right! Let me see if I can find Percy in any of her posts. Skittles at RBFF. Got it! This one's from six months ago. Skittles at RBFF. Selfie of three people. One is in the center, a blonde girl with tanned skin and gray eyes. She's the owner of the account, at WiseGirl98. To her left is the same boy from at Red Dare's post. Up close, his eyes are a distinctive ocean green, and he's about two inches shorter than the girl. To at Wise Girl 98's right is a much shorter girl with spiky black hair, a light dusting of freckles, and pine green eyes. She looks younger than the other two by three or four years. They're standing in front of what appears to be the Getty Center. The caption reads, Talia's in town, so of course I dragged her out to see a museum. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. So, we've got his best friend, his girlfriend. Don't suppose she'll tell us anything. Skittles at RBFF. Her messages are set to private. I'll comment on the post, but I doubt she'll reply. Nance, fountain girl at Sky's the Limit. You do that. At Mary Slytherin, you see if you can get anything on this Talia girl. I'll get my old school yearbook and see if I can find Percy's picture. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Sounds good. Skittles at RBFF. Aye aye, Captain! An Interview with Piper McLean by Milena Remiers. I'm here today with a very special visitor, Piper McLean, made famous by her superstar father actor, Tristan McLean. Piper has thus far lived a very quiet life. Today, she breaks her media silence to put certain stories to rest, once and for all. You've historically stayed as far away from your father's spotlight as you can. Mind telling us why that's changed? Well, it actually hasn't changed, really. I'm not planning to become an actor or a model or follow in my father's footsteps in that kind of way. That's just not what I want to do with my life. I've never done anything like that, and I've still showed up in magazines and been followed by paparazzi just by the virtue of being my father's daughter. I think I've realized now that it's never going to stop. Not as long as the media knows where I am, so either I learn to live with it or go into hiding. Since you're here today, I assume you've chose to live with it. Yeah, I spent most of my teenage years hiding and hated it. I think the longest I went without appearing in a magazine was two years, and that was because I was in the States away from my father, attending a boarding school that had very little contact with the outside world, and lying to everyone about who I was. I had to listen to other girls talk about how attractive my father is, and not being able to say anything because I knew if I did, the secret would be out and I'd have to move again. I don't want to live like that anymore. There's a difference between not hiding and deliberately seeking out media attention, and yet you made the choice to set up this interview. The media has known where I am since the beginning of college. I graduate next spring. That's three years of paparazzi following me around, sneaking photos, accusing me of dating every boy I've so much have said two words to. I guess my thought process was, if you're gonna talk about me, you may as well be saying the right things. So. Here I am, telling you the truth about my life so people can stop speculating. I suppose that gives us a pretty obvious place to start. How's your dating life? I'm not currently dating anyone. I'm not looking to date either, so please don't use this to speculate about possible crushes or potential future boyfriends. I'm perfectly happy being single, and I think it's better that way while I get my life figured out. I was dating someone for a while, from when I was 15 to when I was 18. He's not famous, and as far as I know, he was never photographed with me. It was an amicable breakup. If it helps, he and I are still good friends. We just aren't romantically involved. And there has been no one since then? You're 20 now, so that's two years since you broke up. 
No other boys caught your eye? Like I said, I haven't really been looking. Being in a relationship isn't some kind of happy ending I need to be working towards. I like being single, and I'm perfectly happy to stay that way for as long as I need. And for the record, it would be just as likely for a girl to catch my eye as a boy. You're bisexual? Yeah, that's the term I prefer. I'll be sure to ask about cute girls next time as well as boys. Much appreciated. Although I'm sure you understand I won't say much about either. Other than dealing with the paparazzi, how have you been enjoying college life? Do you feel that people treat you differently because of your fame? To some extent, yes, they do. I don't have much of a social life on campus, which is unfortunate, but it can be hard for me to make friends without feeling like they're only interested in me because of my father. I couldn't count on one hand the number of times I thought someone was a friend, and then they've asked me for my father's autograph. Not everyone is like that, but it just makes socializing hard. I do have a very good group of friends from my teenage years, the friend group that my ex-boyfriend is part of, and they've been great. We FaceTime at least once a week and text way more often than that. My best friend Leo came to college with me, which is great, and Percy was in town last month for a visit. So, yeah, not a lot of new friends, but plenty of old ones that I'm still in touch with. You said earlier that a relationship isn't the happy ending that you're striving towards. Could you elaborate on somewhat what you're striving towards and what that looks like for you? Of course. I have to admit, I'm much more comfortable talking about this than my love life. <laughs> As I'm sure you already know, I've just entered my senior year at college at VCU. That's Virginia Commonwealth University. My current plan is to get a bachelor's and move straight into becoming a social worker. Although, I have considered sticking around to get a master's first. My family is Cherokee, and although I was lucky enough to be raised by my father, there is a disproportionate number of Native American children in the foster care system. I won't get into statistics, but let's just say that there's racism in the way child welfare checks are determined, and leave it at that. I want to be able to help those children and my community, and I think that social work is the best way for me to do that. That's an admirable goal. Do you intend to stay in Virginia after graduating, or are you planning on moving somewhere else? Back to California, for example, or to Oklahoma where you grew up? I haven't decided yet. I wish there was a better answer I could give you, but honestly, I just don't know. I have friends and family in California, New York, and Oklahoma. Or I might just go somewhere completely different. It all depends on which job offers I get, I suppose. We'll have to wait and see. Well, wherever you decide to go, I think they'll be lucky to have you. Thanks for the vote of confidence. And thank you for the interview. It's been great. Really. Skittles, at RBFF. At Sky's the Limit, at Mary Slytherin. Hey, so, uh, this is gonna sound crazy, but have you seen the Piper McLean interview that just dropped? Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. No, I don't really follow her. Why? What happened? Nance, Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. What does Piper McLean have to do with hashtag that Jackson kid? I assume that's why you added us. Skittles at RBFF. I said this was going to sound crazy, and I, I know, it's a bit of a stretch, but hear me out. Skittles at RBFF. One, she has a good friend called Percy. Two, she has friends and family in New York. Three, Percy Jackson is from New York. Skittles at RBFF. Four, Percy Jackson knows red. Five, Piper also knows red. They did a collab in April about stopping that oil pipeline. Seem to already know each other pretty well. Six, uh... Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Technically possible, but yeah, that's a stretch. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Not sure if I buy into all that, honestly, but there's so much crazy stuff surrounding this already that it might as well happen. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Surrounding. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Fuck, why doesn't Twitter let you edit posts? Slytherin, at RBFF. 
<laughs> Lol. Find anything on Thalia? Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Yes, actually. And it's weird. Does this picture look familiar to you? Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. An aged-looking photo of a young woman. She appears to be in her mid to late teens with voluminous blonde curls, blue eyes, and freckles. Her skin coloration and the shape of her face bear a striking resemblance to the selfie of Thalia. Skittles at our BFF. Uh, Thalia with her hair dyed? Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. That's Beryl Grace, when she was a guest star on Full House. Skittles at our BFF. Uh, that is so obviously Talia, though. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Exactly. Go to Burrell Grace's wiki page. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. What am I supposed to be looking for? Never mind. Found it. Skittles at our BFF. Are you telling me that Thalia from Wise Girl 98 Selfie is dead actress Burrell Grace's daughter who went missing in 2001? Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. I mean... They literally have the same name. Skittles, at our BFF. Thalia would be like 30 now, though. Fuck Donald Trump, at Mary Slytherin. Good jeans? Skittles, at our BFF. She looks 16? Nance, fountain girl, at Sky's the Limit. If water can jump out of a fountain and grab me, I'm pretty sure a starlet's missing daughter is allowed to age weird. Skittles at RBFF. Fair point. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Anyway, I also found out some stuff. Not as exciting as Royal Grace's missing daughter, but still kind of weird. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Oh? Skittles at RBFF. I'm still shocked about the Thalia Grace thing, but sure, lay it on me, I guess. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. I was looking through my yearbook and found a picture of this kid, Grover Underwood. I know he and Percy were friends back at Nancy. I felt like I'd seen him somewhere else, though, so I went back to the picture of the three kids in Santa Monica when they were crowdfunding their plane tickets. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Are you going to tell me that this Grover Underwood guy was actually one of the kids on the cross-country kidnapping road trip? Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. A hundred percent he was. Skittles at our BFF. Huh? Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. And you know what else? The blonde girl in the picture looked familiar too, but not as familiar. And I think she might be Annabeth Chase. I don't have any pics of young Annabeth, but they look pretty similar. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Annabeth Chase being at Wise Girl 98 from Insta, in case you forgot the name. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Okay, so I'm looking up Annabeth Chase on Google and it says she went missing at age seven and was only found when she was 12, when she wrote her dad a letter and asked him to come pick her up from New York. They lived in California, by the way. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. What? Skittles at our BFF. So, she runs away, somehow gets from California to New York, gets kidnapped and taken back to California, flies back to New York, and then calls her dad in California to pick her up? I am dead. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. With every mystery solved about hashtag Pat Jackson kid, we get another 50 questions. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Okay, wait so I read it wrong. They lived in Richmond at the time and moved to California after. Still, wild. Skittles at our BFF. I'm still stuck in the Burrell Grace thing, to be honest. Potential hashtag that Jackson kid movie, Netflix vies for story rights. In a statement released just a few hours ago, Netflix spokesperson confirmed that they are looking into creating a movie and or TV series based around hashtag that Jackson kid, a real-life mystery being investigated by amateur sleuths on Twitter. 
As the people involved in the story are still alive today, Netflix has reached out to multiple sources, including social activist Rachel Elizabeth Dare and up-and-coming youth architect Annabeth Chase, for permission to share this story. In a Twitter post three hours ago, Netflix stated, We at Netflix understand the right to privacy of all involved. For that reason, we will not be sharing any details of this potential project until we receive permission from everyone involved in this story. Although she has yet to publicize a comment on Netflix's statement, Ms. Dare has liked several tweets which seems to stand against it. One tweet read, As if! Red would never support these jokesters. Based on her liking of this tweet, it seems unlikely that Netflix will gain the necessary permissions. If Netflix does go ahead with this project, it could feature elements such as a goat sacrificing cult, the 2010 explosion of the St. Louis Arch, and what appears to be the reappearance of the late Burrell Grace's missing daughter, now an adult. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. A movie? Jesus Christ, we've done all the work for them. If they make a movie, they'd better at least credit us. Skittles at RBFF. There is no way they'll get permission. Rachel Elizabeth Dare has been liking all those tweets, and I doubt they can even find Percy to ask him. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. How did I even get involved in this? Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. All I wanted was to watch some BuzzFeed Unsolved, and now I'm a conspiracy theorist. Wildest month of my life. Percy Jackson Alive by Emmeline Tanaka, BuzzFeed contributor. It's been several months now since our friends over at BuzzFeed Unsolved released an episode on Percy Jackson, which immediately spurred amateur investigations on Twitter into action. At the time of the episode airing, Percy Jackson's current whereabouts were unknown. Today, BuzzFeed is happy to report that Percy Jackson is indeed alive. Out of respect for his privacy, we will not share his location, but he graduated from college last year and seems to be doing well. We reached out to Twitter users at Maddie Chase and at Bobby, who claimed to have a close relationship with Jackson. Their responses here. Note, as both of these users are minors, we did ask and receive permission from their parents before publishing. Although Jackson himself declined to comment, we were able to verify his identity. The odd occurrences in his life will have to remain a mystery, on which, of course, we will be happy to speculate. Piper, at Piper McLean. I can't believe one of my best friends is number one trending on Twitter. He didn't even do anything this time. Shaking my head. At RBFF, you were right? About Piper McLean knowing hashtag that Jackson kid? Skittles, at RBFF. Holy shit! At Piper McLean, how do you know Percy Jackson? Piper, at Piper McLean. So, you know how in hashtag BuzzFeed Unsolved they mentioned him going missing for a while in 2014? Yeah. Skittles at RBFF. Oh, huh? Skittles at RBFF. Oh my god. Wait, Piper McLean just responded to my post? The most beautiful person I have ever seen in my life knows I exist? Nan's Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. You have a crush on Piper McLean? Skittles at RBFF. Doesn't everybody? Nance, Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Touche. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Okay, but can we get back to how the fuck Parpin McLean knows Percy Jackson? Nance, Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. So he was actually missing in 2014 when his mom refused to report it? Good to know. Skittles at RBFF. Supports the cult theory? But that would imply Piper McLean was also in a cult. Possum Protection Squad, at Red Dare. Already said I won't say more about Percy, but in the interest of throwing gasoline on a fire, would anybody like to hear the story of how I met Piper McLean? Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. As bad as bad. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Um, of fucking course we would. Skittles at RBFF. Wait, now I've talked to Rachel Elizabeth there and Piper McLean? Does this mean I'm officially famous? Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Please enlighten us, my queen.
Possum Protection Squad, at Red Dare. One out of three. So, I was in this place. In fact, I was in a very specific place within that larger place. Piper McLean was also in that place. Possum Protection Squad, at Red Dare. Two out of three. I told her about how I sometimes live in a cave. Long story. And then proceeded to have a seizure that scared her so much she passed out. Possum Protection Squad, at Red Dare. Three out of three. And after she woke up, we went to a campfire where her sort of boyfriend got struck by lightning and told her she was pretty. The end. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. <laughs> Piper at Piper McLean. I hate that that is technically an accurate way of describing what happened. Skittles at RBFF. <laughs> I don't even... Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Okay, but didn't Percy's car also get struck by lightning? And he was fine? And now you're saying Piper's boyfriend got struck by lightning and he was fine? Was What is it with you guys and lightning? Possum Protection Squad at Red Dare. If it helps, Jason got himself struck by lightning on purpose. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. Why would that help? Piper at Piper McLean. Rachel! Possum Protection Squad at Red Dare. I live to cause chaos. Netflix cancels planned hashtag that Jackson Kid movie after Backlash announces limited series with similar concept. Earlier this year, Netflix announced a potential movie or TV series based on Percy Jackson and the two weeks he was missing possibly due to cult involvement. In 2011, public outcry against this movie cited concerns of profiting off children's trauma. Yesterday, Netflix quietly withdrew this That Hashtag Jackson Kid from their list of upcoming projects. When questioned about the chains, Netflix gave the statement, When we proposed our idea for a Hashtag That Jackson Kid movie, our intent was never to cause harm. We plan to shed light on some of the events in the summer of 2010 in a way that would not only be accurate, but respectful and perhaps even therapeutic for the people involved. After speaking with some of those people, we have come to the, the conclusion that such a project would do more harm than good. To respect their wishes, we will not move forward with our hashtag that Jackson kid project. Only a few hours after officially canceling hashtag that Jackson kid, Netflix announced the beginnings of a new limited series. According to their synopsis, this series will focus on a group of four teenagers who are kidnapped by and inducted into a cult. There are rumors that this story will even feature an explosion at the Hoover Dam, possibly in reference to the 2010 incident at the St. Louis Arch. Early reports claim that Netflix is eyeing Hollywood superstar Tristan McLean to play the cult leader. Supersize McChisel at Fireboy Valdez. Seven years ago today. Remember the time we got into a sword fight to rescue my best friend's missing dad and then hijacked a helicopter? Good times. Photo of three teenagers. In the center is a blonde boy with a strong jawline and a tiny scar on his upper lip. He's smiling, but there is soot in his hair and what appears to be dried blood smeared on his left eye. To his right is a Latino boy with a wicked grin on his face. His eyes are alight with energy. He is in a similar condition to the blonde boy, except he is far more ash than blood. To their left is Piper McLean. She is disheveled as well, but it somehow works, making her look like the hero of an action movie. There is a darkening bruise over her right cheek. Piper at Piper McLean. I genuinely can't believe you posted this, Leo. How did you even get me to agree to this selfie? Super Size McShizzle at Fireboy Valdez. Hey, I asked for permission first. Piper at Piper McLean. Should have known you weren't joking. I can only blame myself. Skittles at RBFF. At Piper McLean, please tell me that stage makeup. How the fuck do you make it look so good? Piper at Piper McLean. All real, I'm afraid. But to be fair, I had just gotten an unwilling makeover a few hours before the sword fight. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. 
I feel like with everything we find out about you, we just get more confused. Super size McChisel at Fireboy Valdez. Good. Fuck Donald Trump at Mary Slytherin. So, if you know Piper, does that mean you know hashtag that Jackson kid? Also, who is the blonde guy, and can I have his number? Super size McChisel at Fireboy Valdez. I do. He's shockingly easy to prank, and I can totally get you that guy's number. Piper at Piper McLean. Do not give random strangers on the internet my ex-boyfriend's number, Leo. Super size McChisel at Fireboy Valdez. You ruin all my fun. Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit. Will there ever be an end to that hashtag Jackson Kid conspiracy? Or will I just keep finding weirder and weirder shit to obsess over? Possum Protection Squad at Red Dare. Oh, Nancy, you've barely scratched the surface. Ugh, so, so fucking long to record. I am like 50 minutes and I have to go get my teeth cleaned. My teeth. But yeah, I, I posted like the first part of this four months ago. <laughs> and I'm just getting around to this. But you see why? This is fucking long. And while I do love Percy Jackson, I know not as many people like are in the fandom and like listen to the pod fix up host for this but i i love this series and i really wanted to get it out there is one more part that one's only like the same size as the original so probably won't be another four months till i get around to that but i had a great time recording this but it is like a social media fic thing and those are always harder to read like Oh my gosh, just so many repeating of the names. Just like, oh yes, Nance Fountain Girl at Sky's the Limit just so many times. I hope it isn't fucking annoying to listen to. Like after a while, I think my brain just tuned it out when I was reading and it was fine. So that'll probably happen for listening to it for you guys. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy to get around to this. I fucking love this concept. I just like recently read more like Percy Jackson BuzzFeed fix, which is actually why I recorded this because I was reading other ones. But yeah, this is fun. I love it. I hope you guys loved it and I hope you sat through that entire thing. Like, wow. Anyway, a lot of editing ahead of me. But first, must clean my teeth. I really need to fucking go. So bye. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.